I've been playing video games since I was like seven years old with Pong. Something terrible has happened. I remember Battle Zone, you know, really chunking the quarters in that one. Growing up and living with my mom, that's all I ever did. You know, Isaac, clean the dishes. Uh, give me a couple minutes, mom. So I like, you know, schedule my classes so I can have breaks where I would play video games between them. The first generation that grew up addicted to video games is now creating them. It was always something I considered that that'd be the coolest job in the world, but I'll probably end up with a regular job. Instead, computer science major Ed Boone landed a job at Williams Entertainment, where he met up with artist John Tobias and created the hugely successful Mortal Kombat, which has sold more than 9 million copies. I believe we started Mortal Kombat. I, I think I just turned 21 at the time. Being young and growing up, it was, it was very cool to, to just kind of let loose and, and be able to express yourself. Rand Miller raised his family's eyebrows when he quit his computer programming job at a bank and talked his artist brother into dropping out of school to help him create CD-ROM games. The relatives kind of look and go, what, he quits a job at a bank to go work and make games, maybe? It's kind of a questionable thing to do. Any questions were answered with their third title, Myst, now the greatest selling CD-ROM game of all time, an elaborate fantasy puzzle that emerged at a time when gory shoot 'em up games reigned supreme. It's easy to get stuck in a rut and make another, you know, blast them away through the hallway game. There's people who are doing that very well, let them continue, you're not gonna compete with those people. The reason we've had some success is because we did look at things a little bit differently. This whole field is actually in its infancy and there's so much to be defined yet. So how do you get into game production? One way to break into the biz is by landing a job most game junkies can only dream of, being paid to play video games as game testers. I guess we got lucky and we did well and after, you know, we begged and screamed and cried for a long time. They decided, all right, all right, shut up, we'll hire you. Yeah. Their first assignment, to test out Killer Instinct, a new fighting game. We wanted to do a fighting game. We had a lot of ideas what we could do better. Um, we all pretty much had our ideas put in there. Yeah. We did the voices for the last boss character in Killer Instinct Idol. He's a two-headed kind of half bull guy. And we both did a lot of screaming, yelling, puking. Yeah, we drank, like a sound lot, effects. drank a lot of pop that day. Our voices were totally gone. But it's not all fun in games. Despite what you might think, video game production is a lot of hard work and long hours. When we were testing Killer Instinct, we'd pretty much come in at like 8, 8.30. And we'd work until 12, 1 in the morning, right. just to make sure we get the game bug-free. There's always a tremendous amount of pressure in meeting the expectations of the game players. It's satisfying. When you, when you get it to work, it's, it's real satisfying. 